Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Stone Hearth. And wow, that is some harvest that needs to be pulled in, which only reinforces the idea that we really, really need another farmer. And you seem to be a pretty good farmer. Wasn't there another person that was really good at farming? Oh dear. I think I saw them moving though. Yep, there they go. It's a large grunkle. That's why I'm calling them, just because they kind of look like grunkles from uh, How to Tra Train Your Dragons. Or How to Train Your Dragon. It's not plural. But you are now to be a farmer because you have a green thumb even though you're you have terrible body how are we dealing with this this one person is getting pretty hurt but the armor is actually helping quite a bit okay there we go And actually, we need to ensure that this bed was set to a soldier. Yep. Okay. We need another one of these houses up, too, so that our last soldier can get one. Oh, dear. Okay, one of our soldiers is sad. I don't know. Oh, no, he's hurt. That's the hurt one. Okay, never mind. But we're making quick work of them. We don't quite have all of the upgraded weapons yet, though. Which is kind of a problem. But let's get another worker house down. And facing forward. Hmm. And four apart. Did that just rotate? I think that might have just rotated on its own. It needs to be like that. Because with where the bed is. Yep, just like that. The door should be up here. We have all the materials, so yes, build. Start building. Okay. And they'll get that done. Uh-oh, we have a piece of wood on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it doesn't quite connect to the other roof, too. Uh, just real quick, let's have a ladder right there and a and a ladder right there. Just so that they can get up there and get that root or get that piece of wood if they need to. And they're building the ladders real quick. <laughs> is that, that our really hurt person? Or is that... Because he should be resting. Ah, he is. Okay. Waiting for treatment. Hmm. But in fact, we should try to... Upgrade our herbalist to a cleric. Approve. And then we will get a new herbalist. Someone with decent learning that doesn't want to be... That's okay with not being a worker. You. You'll learn fast. No, actually, I, I really want you for the mason. Because you learn so fast. So. Mm. Well, you don't need a lot of body. So we'll have you as the herbalist. Although that might be a bad idea with you being a joker. In, in real life theory. Why are there two? Why was the second one craft? Oh, wait. That's right. Because we always keep one on hand. So. No, nope, that makes sense. Never mind. 
Okay, so we'll need another actually house for the cleric now. There he goes healing people. In fact, that makes me think, will the current herbalists even have anything that they can make that I would actually need? Because if we don't need any potions or bandages because everybody's always going to be healed, then what's the point of an herbalist like obviously the other potions but if I can't make the other potions so that makes me think let's go into it and just have you craft right now just a ton of them to level you up okay make 20 and once you're done with that you should be level 2 and then we'll make a, a whole bunch of other stuff and we'll just sell them to the trader when once we can if I can speak mmm and we really do need something more for the mason because he's not oh no is he level 4 now no no he's not okay so we need something that requires once we change them over, maybe we'll make a whole bunch of bird baths. Or stone chairs. Matches the tombstones. That's morbid. Oh. Um. <laughs> Simple merchant. Well, let's see if we have anything. We have a couple fine tables. A couple fine tables. Or a fine chair. A bird bath. Are we maintaining a bird bath? I'm not sure, and I'm I'm afraid if I click out the merchant's gonna leave. <laughs> but we have forty oak saplings. <gasps> That's right, we have to plant them ourselves. That's why. Okay. They just grow them to sapling point. To the sapling stage. Okay. Daily update. And we have the net worth. We have Chelkarn. Let's take a look at you. Chelkarn, you're very poor in the body, but... Maybe that explains a bit of their resilience, though. Um, and certainly the fact that they're, they only have a one in body. <laughs> Okay, this needs to be the last soldiers. Maggie Bendel. And let's actually put down the saplings. We have a lot of them. Okay, let's just start dropping them in here. Just all of them all over the place. Over here. It's going to be a dark forest. Okay, we're almost halfway through. Yeah, they are too high, so they should be able to walk under the leaves. So no matter how dense it is, they should not ever get stuck. So the idea is, too, is that these will grow. They will get bigger. They will produce more wood the longer they stay out there. So that would kind of be the thing that we would want to try to wait for. But we could probably plant them up here, too. Ooh, there's a... There's a mausoleum up there. But again, we don't want to kill the chief yet. 
Also, we're not even done with the the castle or the front wall either, so let's actually do that real quick. Okay, so we're going to need some floor that goes out to about right there. And then more floor that goes out to about right there. Going into the walls, we'll need this. Did I do the gunmetal? I think I did the gunmetal. We'll need a door to get in here so that no one gets stuck. Because that would be a bad thing. Granite green, I do believe is correct. And then build that all the way up to there. And then we need the parapets. So we need to extend the length along that side, which I'm not really sure which one that is. That one? Yes, that one. Okay. Just like that. No. Oh, that's right. If there is a corner, it messes with it. Actually, undo. Let's make that gunmetal. And then the roof. But, I would say let's stick it out to there. And then this one, pull that in. And then stick that side out. Oops, no, I meant to increase that by one. Oh. No. Okay, that's right. If you're going to build walls, you, you have to remember that your previously selected will still count, so. Okay, then. That really does not do much. So, yes, just like that. Okay, finish editing. And that's not really a template piece, so we don't need to save it. And build. And this will ensure that the... Who is that? Rotten food, okay. Oops, I did not mean to pause it for a second. <laughs> but that should finish off our wall. It will make it so that it takes a bit of time for those who are bringing trees out here to bring them out there. In fact, I should have put all the trees against the wall right here, but... Oops. <laughs> Okay, we'll just cut those real quick, too. And we don't have exactly a ton of... workers at the moment, so... it is a bit difficult to get all the jobs done. And we'll wait till that is done. In fact, we'll play on high speed... before we make another worker's house, which we need to make quite a few of, so... But, this right here only collects those. Because we don't want to have the cook running halfway across the world to get their resources. Goblin raiding party approaching. All the soldiers are alerted. And we are absolutely wrecking them, and the cleric is doing his job. Level 1 herbalist. Okay, good. Now let's take a look. You still have 10 of them to go, which probably is only going to get you through... Actually, you know what? Let's... Let's actually cancel that, because we don't need it. In fact... Well, we'll keep these just in case they are used for some reason. But energy tonics, we will maintain five. So we will need several more bright bells, which are actually getting farmed up. So. 
And having that extra farmer actually does help a little. And the cook is actually helping too. <laughs> Which is nice. Okay, they almost have all the trees in. In fact, one may have already grown. Two may have already grown a little. Or... What's going on there? Or they popped up above the other trees. <laughs> yeah, they popped up above the other trees. You can see the wood is actually right there. That's weird. But okay. So you got if you guys are gonna be planting those trees, do it quick. The wall's about to be closed up. But yeah, we'll start increasing the difficulty too by taking out the goblin raiding parties soon enough. But for now, oh, that's right. That's why we wanted this little tab is not to put another house, but that that's where the road that will go behind and the back wall will be rugged survivalist. Mm, ooh, we have some more bronze armor. That's a probably going to, yep, got taken up as soon as it got there. Sell the fine windows. Anything else that we have to sell? No. Okay, then. Let's go over there. Now, I should start upgrading the soldiers to some degree, but they wear such heavy armor. And with that cleric, I think, oh, wow, that zoomed in a lot faster than it was supposed to. But with that cleric, I think they're going to be fine. So, anywho, the blacksmith probably has leveled up. Indeed, they have, because I can now make steel ingots. So we want to maintain six of those, if we can. And ensure it's in the right spot in the queue, which is right after the iron. And oh, and I figured out why our tailor got hung up. So she made a bolt of leather, right? She put it in the crate. The blacksmith then came over and took it as she decided to make the helmet. So she's going to make the helmet, but then the leather was gone. And since she was fixated on making the helmet, she never made another leather. So yeah, <laughs> that's why. So that's why I need to have those up the, ooh, they're coming in a little. Some of the back ones are already growing. The trader returns. Except, did we have do we actually have the bright bells? Because I know I've, we've been using quite a few. Yes. Did that work? Because I don't know. Have Did we have that many bright bells? We don't have any now, so... Um, I don't know. Can we actually put a farming up here? No, we can't. It has to be on green grass. Okay, but the wall is going up quite quickly, though. <laughs> okay. Let's get those crenellations slash parapets up. I think I hear people in the mine, which is good. Hey, hey, back to work. Just kidding. This isn't, um, was it Dungeon Keeper? <laughs> oh, are we out of stone? I said we had plenty of stone. Okay, but we do have people mining. It is getting pretty deep to get anything, though. In fact, I think at this point, it would be safe to say that I need another pathway down the sides. 
Okay, that's probably up top. Oh no, they do. Oh no, those are rocks. Okay, never mind. Uh, soldiers, we need you here quick. I think they were already coming, but. There we go. They got distracted, although the healer's distracted by one of the citizens. So, or the cleric. Okay, we need you healing the hurt people. Okay, you're not a very good cleric yet, are you? <laughs> Is that not being looted? Loot. Oh, someone must have dropped that. Okay. And they seem very confused as to what's going on. Cancel combat order. See if that fixes it, or if they're just running back and forth because the cleric is the lead at the moment. I think it might be that the cleric's the lead. Anywho, though, the blacksmith did level up. It's a knight sword. I really don't want two-handed weapons, so... Goblin raiding party approaches. Well, it's a good thing that they stayed around that spot. Oh, they have two thieves, too. Did the cleric actually go out there and try to... S yes, he did. <laughs> okay, let's get the blacksmith making the better stuff, though. We'll have him maintain a knight sword. Do we have... Yeah, we have him maintaining a steel shield. But, or an iron shield, but we have no iron. Iron mail, we will maintain one. Circlet, we will maintain one. We have no silver? Or no, that is steel. I, I keep on thinking that's silver for some reason. But that should be everything there. Let's take a look at our other crafters, see if there's anything else that they can make. No, you can make everything, and actually we've seen it in the inventory. You can make everything. Freeze arrows that slow them. Fire damage over time. They both need Poyo Feathers, though, which means we need a Herder. Which we should actually get soon. The Cook doesn't really have anything new. The Mason isn't four yet. And the Tailor... Oh, that was the Tailor we were just looking at. Okay, well... We need to figure out where we're go where we want to keep some animals. Actually, we don't really have a lot of workers at the moment either. They did finish the the wall though, so let's. I heard something poof. Oh, there's a there is a giant zombie with a chest though. Do want have them go out there? They are much faster than the cleric, which is a problem. A massive problem. But. Oh, and he's ready. Oh, and he has a weapon. And there we go. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Okay, that was close enough, apparently. <laughs> that they're, they're now going to assault the mausoleum. So, okay, once they hit the main building, that will call out all of the bad guys, which, there they go, and another chest, although it is giving us quite a bit of stone, so, although they are fighting back quite well. Okay, they are just cleaning up everything. What is this? A longsword. Oh, that's one of the things that the blacksmith can't make yet, I think. Thick leather vest. Full plate mail. I think that's something for knights, though. Okay, well, there's plenty to loot now. So, and a lot of it's stone, and we really do need the stone. So, 
we're going to leave that for the time being. So they're going to gather food until there's no food to gather. And actually, I'm thinking that the cook needs to be making a little bit more. And or that we need some more storage in the cook's area. We could technically put some behind the the person right there who would sit right there. That does leave a little bit of room. Or because the cook isn't working all the time at the moment, I could just put more along this wall. Hmm. Because really there is very little room left in this place. Hmm. Because we do need to keep on getting more and more food to... Or was 20 the limit? I wonder. Up to some wolves. Oh, that's right. You had to... You have to turn on if you're going to have more than so many. So I'll have that done for the next episode. But as you saw, we didn't get any daily report either. So... Ooh, what is this? Was that part of the wolves? Can you please stop running away? That's the good point for archers. Is that... They can hit them from a distance. And the cleric doesn't have to go running all over the place. But he ran him to the cliff edge. And now he's surrounded. And now he's gone. So yes, those were kobold because they did drop their hats. So, well, we need a we need a herder either way. Oh, you have to upgrade him from a trapper, but our current trapper likes being a trapper. Hmm. Yeah. Actually, let's see if that actually does. Yes, loves their job. <laughs> okay, well, hmm. You know what? We'll make you a trapper. And once you get high enough, we will make you a herder. In fact, we could put the pens right against the walls back here, and we'd only need one wall to pen them in. But yeah, I don't think we actually need any more food at, for the time being, as we're, we can't get anyone new, so. A sneaky goblin tries to sneak into camp. Let's get our soldiers up here. And deal with the sneaky goblins. Excuse me. Had a sneeze right there. Oh. Okay. Well, they're going off to... Kill this wicked fire. No. No. If they go up too far, they're going to be attacking that oh no 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 don't attack the chief okay good the chief went back okay we're getting people who are coming out to gather loot <laughs> but yeah the, the computer i'm running on definitely can handle a few more than this we're not having any lag at all, so. So I do want them to finish up collecting all the loot that's out there. We can't go any faster. But we should deal with the camp up here probably pretty soon. But I do want to get the town fortified to some degree as well, so. Ooh. 
But that is the alarm, so that is the end of the episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do leave a like as it does help the channel and do subscribe if you're not already to catch the next episode as it comes out. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave those in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as quick as I can and ensure to check the description below to see how you can help support the channel so I can get the videos up in a timely manner rather than having to wait for YouTube to review them all the time and or uh, follow the the Twitter, not the Twitch. Although I'm I'm trying to figure out what to live stream for the Twitch, but the Twitter to see if there is any channel updates on videos that are getting delayed. So, but for now, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Goodbye.